Yeah, I don't know if we would, uh, you know, in a vacuum, I don't necessarily know that we would be doing this. Yeah. I, I think it's that feeling that we've had throughout for, for uh, since the band broke up, really. Um, just this sense that there's people that are still interested that um, genuinely love the music and uh, and I think that was that was the main impetus that was the exciting thing about doing it because it's just uh, it's almost an obligation in a way I feel like yeah because when we we I mean, we might be doing music together but it probably wouldn't be the failure sound per se but because the interest in the band has actually grown since we broke up in 97, we kind of felt like, hey, let's do failure. Yeah. It was, when we came out, it was very, it was all about grunge and Pearl Jam and Nirvana. And I think our sound didn't check all the boxes for grunge. And so it was a bit of a problem. It was kind of like, well, it doesn't quite fit, so we're not too sure about how this is going to work in this environment. Now that that's all passed and people are just kind of experiencing the album for what it is and not trying to compare it to other bands, it feels just better now. The cool thing with Fantastic Planet is there was like, when we were making it, there was no support. I mean, it was the feeling was sort of like, well, this is just for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we, it was, there, there was not this great expectation, there wasn't a feeling of a lot of support coming from, uh, you know, record companies with resources and, you know, it was just, we were just making um, exactly the record we wanted, we wanted to make, to make at that yeah. point. And then... Um, they were all, Slash was always kind of like that with us. They kind of believed that we made our best stuff without producers basically being involved because the the demos for the second record magnified they actually wanted to release that instead of the finished album <laughs> because they thought the finished album sounded a little too produced and they thought the demos were more interesting you know we were we kind of had a cringe factor with the demos because they had a they had drum machine which we always intended yeah. to be replaced by a real drum kit but the other sounds were kind yeah. of more special in a way, so I get where they were coming from. So when it came time to make the third record, they were just like, you want to make it on your own, go ahead. So they, d they did g give us total creative freedom. However, when we turned in the record, they were actually, everything had changed there because they were trying to sell their label. So we went into this whole basic free fall of like not even knowing mm. if the record was ever going to come out, who was going to put it out. That lasted for a year and a half. That, that's why this whole thing feels so good right now. It, it, it felt, it didn't end well for us in the 90s. We never felt like the album got the recognition it got. We had drug problems. The label was like sort of ambivalent. Now, coming back now, we're, it's just more about the music now. And there's nothing really getting in the way, at least yeah. so far. Yeah, I think that it was um, the the drugs and be uh, the state that I was in, where I was sort of in over my head with with the drugs. I was not in control. That that became metaphorical to the theme of the record. It's kind of like that was the muse, or the the you know what what it was what was driving it and the underpinnings of all all the songs emotionally. It, it, instead of it being a person, it was substance, kind of. No, we got some songs. Yeah. We got new songs. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that we, we have a lot to live up to for, yeah. for ourselves. And I, I think, we're basically, if we ended up with a record that it just wasn't, it didn't stand up, I, I think we would just forget it. Yeah. We talked about it's, that at the beginning. Should we just do a reunion and just do play a tour, playing the old songs? You know, like a more of a proper reunion where it's just like a band playing their old songs for the people who were their fans back then. But we got to thinking that a lot of our fans have become our fans actually recently, and some a lot of them are younger now, and they never saw us play live. So 
we have an opportunity to just kind of pick up where we left off. It was weird. They, in the very beginning when we toured with them, their, their fan base was very kind of like more open to different kinds of stuff. And then as time went on, I think their fan base kind of distilled into a little more metal leaning people. Yeah. So some of the later shows that we opened for them, uh, the crowd was kind of like, you know, where's Tool? It was pretty fun. We had we had some weird moments too, yeah. where we were like, I, I had a moment where we, I, lear I learned the verse and the chorus, and then we, I hadn't learned the bridge before we started the song. Started the song, got through the verse, got through the chorus, the bridge was just coming, and I was literally just was gonna let my hands drop, and they kind of, they found the right chords. And my mouth yeah. was like, watching my hands. It was yeah. a really weird feeling. Yeah, we were both like looking at each other in amazement at a few points. Yeah. We would forget sort of the big um, chord changes of songs. But yeah. then when you, you'd come into a bridge where there was kind of like a, a fairly complex picking pattern or, you know, the notes were all over and your fingers were just doing it, you know, despite your head. You yeah. just kind of... So it was... It was strange. I think we knew pretty early on that it was gonna, we still kind of had the, the, the thing. Yeah, and then when we, got, when we played with Kelly, it was, um, I don't know, in ways I felt like it was stronger than it ever was. Yeah. Um, it's a little, I mean, of course, it's a little hard for us to tell. We're a little slightly close to it, but I feel like we're playing some of the stuff better than we did in the 90s.